the National Museum of Civil War Medicine will come away with a better understanding of uh, Civil War medical care. A lot of myths have uh, been perpetrated over the years of Civil War surgeons being uh, butchers rather than doctors and the patients uh, undergoing very harsh uh, operations, kicking and screaming and biting a bullet. Uh, none of this is true. Uh, the doctors were dedicated to the art at the time. Uh, things such as anesthesia, they were available. 95% uh, of all Civil War operations were done under anesthesia. Uh, so things weren't as uh, bleak as often uh, portrayed. Well, some of the things that um, our visitors will take away when they go through are not only the lessons about what actually happened during the Civil War, but also the influence of military medicine on our modern day medical practice. Things like triage are um, first practice during 1862 and the battles that took place around um, Antietam and places like that, that allow for this practice of what we have today as emergency medical care. Um, so those are some of the things that are going, our visitors are going to walk away with, are an understanding of how medical practice has changed, um, the technologies and the things that the surgeons were experimenting with during the Civil War and how that has filtered down even to today and is influencing our modern medical practice. One of my favorite things in the exhibits um, are the stretcher cases and is the stretcher case and the various types of stretchers that they use. Just to give people an idea um, of the different kinds of things they had available to them, um, the different technologies. Um, from stretchers that are just canvas stretchers to stretchers that are a hospital bed and a stretcher as a combo. So that's one of the coolest things I think that we have on display, in my opinion. The museum has a very uh, a wide audience. We have school groups, um, we have the casual visitor, uh, all the way up to the dedicated history buff and Civil War buff. Uh, our museum really doesn't cater to any uh, one group. Uh, we like to keep it uh, as broad as possible to appeal to as wide an audience as necessary. We also find that we have a lot of doctors, nurses, medical students that uh, enjoy the museum because it gives them an understanding of where some of that medical background that they have today and the things that they are doing came from. Um, and they really enjoy the museum as well.